Up to 9 out of 10 sore throat infections cannot be treated with antibiotics. In this video, I'll show you the best ways to treat a sore throat just at home, so stay tuned until the end. If you have a sore throat right now and watching this video for the tips, I'm going to make this part fast so we can jump straight to it. A sore throat refers to any pain, itchiness, or irritation of the throat. Throat pain is the most primary symptom people experience. It often gets worse when you try to swallow and you may even have difficulty swallowing foods and drinks. If that's you right now, you definitely want to try out some of these tips. Sore throats are usually caused by a viral infection and can last up to 5-7 to seven days and doesn't require medical treatment. But if you do notice throat pain that is severe and not improving, you have trouble swallowing or breathing, a high fever, coughing up blood, have enlarged lymph nodes, or have white patches at the back of your throat, these are all the signs that you should see a doctor. But most cases can be treated at home, so let's begin. Number one, gargle with some salt water. The Mayo Clinic recommends combining one fourth to one half teaspoon of table salt with four to eight ounces of warm water. You want to stir it until the salt dissolves, then gargle it for five to ten seconds and spit it out. Repeat the salt gargle several times each day until you find that relief. If that doesn't work, Try some over-the-counter throat lozenges that contain menthol. I recommend Halls. This is one of the ones that works for me every time. This one comes with the 15 milligram menthol, which seems to be the sweet spot for me. They have the 20 milligram of menthol too, but it makes your whole mouth seem to go numb. So 15 milligram ones, try them out. If you're experiencing a lot of throat pain, try some over-the-counter pain relief and keep in mind that viruses cause most sore throat complications and viruses can't be treated with antibiotics. Instead, the virus has to run its course in your body, but in the meantime, to control the pain, you could try over-the-counter Tylenol or Advil to ease some of the pain and inflammation. And remember, with any medication you take, make sure it's okay with your doctor and follow the directions on the medication leaflet for its directions. With that said, Never give aspirin to children or teenagers because it has been linked to Ray syndrome, just FYI. In addition to some pain relief, enjoy a drop of honey. Honey coats your throat and soothes it by reducing irritation. Honey also has antibacterial properties and the sweetness can calm the throat's nerve endings and reduce coughing. Warm tea that is sweetened with honey can help soothe your irritated throat. Tea also keeps you hydrated, which is another important step in treating a sore throat. Click here to see a video I made with all the great benefits of honey. The next tip I have is to get plenty of rest and stay hydrated. Don't underestimate physically resting your body and your voice too. Just make sure that you elevate the bed and sit propped up in a chair as lying flat can sometimes cause swelling due to the increased pressure at the back of the throat. Also, when you're dehydrated, your body can't produce enough saliva and mucus to keep your throat naturally lubricated. This will make the swelling and inflammation worse. Same thing goes with alcohol and excess caffeine. These can be drying on your throat, so make sure you're hydrated with enough water, guys. Lastly, if you have a humidifier laying around the house, and it's not in use, plug it in and turn on a cool mist to increase the amount of moisture in your room. Links in the description if you want to check out a humidifier that I highly recommend. And if you don't have a humidifier, that's perfectly fine too, since you can still get relief from moist air. Breathe in steam from a warm shower to help reduce swelling and ease your sore throat. Even though viruses cause most sore throats, sometimes the culprit could be a bacteria too, like streptococcus, which causes strep throat. If your sore throat doesn't go away or gets worse, or you're running a fever, see your doctor for a strep test. You might need an antibiotic. And if so, finish the entire course. Don't stop taking the medicine even if your symptoms are better because stopping an antibiotic too soon could leave some bacteria behind to reinfect you. And if they survive, they may no longer respond to the antibiotics that you were given. Like this video now if you thought it was useful or helpful in any way. Subscribe to stay on board with my weekly videos. And if you have any tips or tricks or remedies that work for you, please leave them in the comments below as I'd love to check them out. Thanks for sticking all the way to the end of the video and as always, see you on the next one.